I'm going to Minecraft. This is Minecraft. This is really, 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 really old, old Minecraft that I've gotten my hands on because I want to do a playthrough. Upload it. Have a little bit of fun with it for however long I have fun with it. Uh, I want to show something off before we get in. These are the default key bindings. Fog is a toggle that you just press on demand. Inventory is opened with I, which is pretty interesting. Load location is a thing. Return is save location. So I, I want to try that. This is an alpha build, so obviously saving and loading your location. You know, it's meant to... Where's the sheep over there? Oh yeah, you can't... I don't know if you can hear that, but... That's how fast I'm swinging versus how fast I'm clicking. I can, like, click pretty quick if I'm hitting something. But, yeah, normally it doesn't. Let's try saving and loading a position, so... Is it this button? And then... No, I guess not. Here. I guess it doesn't work. Or at least it's not working when I'm trying it. Uh, let's toggle the fog buttons, so... This is the furthest out the fuck the sheep's gone. All right, let's punch a tree. So I don't know much about this particular version, but I do know a few tidbits here and there about um, old old Minecraft. Pretty much, oh yeah, I have to press I. Pretty much whatever information was on Ethos Lab. <laughs> God. Any information that was on Ethos Lab is stuff that I know. I forgot about this idle hand sway. Oh yeah, here's some. You can walk around with your inventory open. And also, you get the old running animation. And now my arm is disjointed. But if you open up the inventory, it resets it. Uh, pressing F3 doesn't do anything. A lot of the function keys, you can press F5 and see yourself in third person but only from the rear, and it makes rain particles spawn on the ground, but no rain, which is pretty interesting. I tried uh, recording this once before, like several months ago, but I never ended up using any of that footage, not even because anything was wrong with the footage itself. I just, I tied it to me teaching myself to use um, Premiere, which ended up just with me deciding that I actually really don't like Premiere. I think Premiere kind of sucks. Or at least for me it sucks, because doing anything in that program is a lot, a lot different from doing it in, like, say, Vegas, which is the program that I've used forever. And I'm used to Vegas, you know, I've got a whole workflow in that program. There's a way in my mind that things are done when you're editing with certain buttons and key bindings and Premiere they're all different and that made editing videos really really difficult so I never actually made those videos. That was during the five month gap <laughs> when I didn't upload this year. I'm just trying out new things. There was a couple videos that, you know, I had pretty much finished and then a lot of the times what would end up happening is I'd finish working on a project and then I'd come out the other side and like look at it and watch the video back and I'd be like, this sucks. I don't want anyone to watch this. So I wouldn't. I wouldn't upload it and then that'd be the end of that. Alright, so where do I want to put my first, like, shack? Uh, I don't really... Usually when you build your first house, it's not really a house. It's like a shack. It's got one room. You live in a shack. It's just something nice and secure to keep you safe from the baddies of the night time. I've got the crafting table right here. Let's make a shovel. 
and excavate some of this. I'm getting some frame drops. I remember this being an issue the last time I played. So who would think that with no changed hardware, the problem would persist? That's crazy. There's no uh, crouching or sneaking. Or at least it's not shift or control. Yeah, there's none of that thing that I just said. Let's try changing the key binding. What if I make it backspace? Do I have to like look at a block and then... No, I don't know. Oh yeah, I can hold this and see the graphs and stuff. I forget what... F11 is full screen. It's always full screen, it's always been full screen, it's always going to be full screen. I think I took a screenshot. There's some lava off in the distance there. You don't really see mountainside lava too much anymore. Well, I don't see it that much anymore. Not like that. Maybe it's just like the old lava texture thinking, making me think, thinking me into, haha. <laughs> no, tricking me into thinking that that's like a, an old version exclusive. I really don't know. Oh yeah, there's no <laughs> shifting. There's no crouching, there's no... I want to walk to the edge of this block and not fall off. So what are the plans for the world? What are we going to have? I don't know. I just wanted to play a little bit of Minecraft. And I figured a pretty fun way of doing it... Oh, it's beginning night time. Would just be to get up the oldest version I could find and update with the episodes. Maybe have like whole seasons of this. I don't know. I think it'd be cool though. One, two, three. Uh, do I want a five or a three? No, I want five. I've been listening to so much CKY lately. You wouldn't even believe it. Um, f back when I was in, like, high school, I would just, like, be browsing YouTube and occasionally songs would, like, come up in my feed and I'd check them out. And they'd be some pretty cool stuff. That was how I found, uh, The Whole Wild World is Watching by Morning Glory, because the song Gimme Heroin came up in my feed. That was how I started listening to, um... Johnny Hobo and the Freight Trains, because Love Songs for the Apocalypse, that whole album came into my feed one day, and I was like, that album art looks awesome! I want to listen to that! And I did, and it was awesome. I remember around that same time when I was in high school, uh, I saw a band called CKY with their song 96 Quite Bitter Beings come up in my feed. I remember I clicked on it because it was the volume one album art, the one where the guy does the fucking dope ass guitar flip. And I'm like, that's fucking awesome. Guitar flips are awesome. I gotta listen to these guys. They gotta be awesome. And I can say, 96 Quite Bitter Beings is a good ass song. So I was a fan pretty much immediately. I went on my Amazon Music a little later because this was... I was still in high school, I was still streaming all my music. I went on Amazon Music a little bit later and I found Volume 1. And I remember I listened to like the fucking single for 96 Quite Bitter Beings first. I should. <laughs> Gotta like shut up in focus mode. No, but I remember I listened to the single first. And I don't know why the hell I did that. That has uh, Rio Bravo on it, which is a good song, but I wasn't a fan. I remember I remember I listened to it and I didn't like it. I was like, this kind of sucks. It's the one where he has that riff that goes. Yeah, that one. Um, which I've come around to since, but I remember like it put me off listening to the band for a while because I was like well this song kind of blows 96 quite bitter beings was good the rest of their stuff probably sucks that was the outlier and then I just didn't listen to him for a while uh, and then a little while after that I s decided to just listen to volume one and I was a fan man volume one is great album it's a 
really great album. And then I only listened to Volume 1 for like four years. <laughs> I didn't even bother listening to the rest of their stuff. And then sometime this year, I tracked down and I downloaded Infiltrate, Destroy, Rebuild. And I also tracked down um, An Answer Can Be Found. And I listened to both of them and I was like, man, these albums aren't that good. I did that this year. And I went back to just listening to Volume 1 and I was a little bummed because I'm like, it just, like, I remember my immediate complaint was, I opened up and I listened to Escape from Hellview. My immediate complaint was, this just feels like they're rehashing ideas. Because I remember, like, on Volume 1, it already felt like they were kind of running out of ideas. Like, it felt like with some songs that they had the cool riff, but they didn't have anything else to put it to. Like, in particular, uh, Promiscuous Daughter and Knee Deep are, like, nothing songs, dude. <laughs> There's fucking nothing going on in there on both of them. But, so I was like, shit, maybe they just ran out of steam. And then I listened to, um, I listened to An Answer Can Be Found, and it, yeah, I kind of just shared a lot of the same sentiment, and I was like, oh, that's lame. But, um, sometime later on, like, in December, so, I'm probably gonna upload this tomorrow. So, sometime in December, I was like, let me listen to... Infiltrate, destroy, rebuild again. Maybe it, maybe I gave it too much shit. And I listened to that thing, and man, the second listen, way better than the first. I that 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 shit grows on you. That was a really great album. I'm a I'm I'm a fan. And I went and listened to, an answer can be found. And I'm like, yeah, this is pretty good. I don't think it's as good as the first two, but it's pretty good. I haven't listened to Carver City yet, and I haven't listened to The Phoenix, but I don't really have my hopes up very high for The Phoenix, because, uh, what's his name? Darren? Is that his name? Like, Darren Miller or something? Yeah, Darren Miller. He's not in the band anymore, so it's... Feels like he was the main, like, driving force of creativity, because he's the one that wrote those fucking wicked ass riffs he's the guy that wrote the fucking 96 quite bitter beings riff whatever sun's coming up finally let's see nope all the mobs are still out all the skeletons and their not drawn bows that's a little annoying oh yeah I forgot, zombies drop feathers in this version for some reason. I don't know why, it's kind of weird. But cool, feathers. There's no mobs in here. It's kind of surprising. Who knows, guys, maybe I'll stumble across the Herobrine cave with untold riches and spoils. And then all my torches will keep going out. And I'll be like, oh god, darkness so scary. Ah! And I'll beat myself like a little girl. <laughs> the old stairs icon. I don't get how that's supposed to look like stairs. Oh, that's the end of that pickaxe. I've noticed that um, with pickaxes on the last block that you break, you uh, don't harvest it. I forgot slabs were that cheap. Okay, I know what I'm doing the floor out of. I was gonna do gravel. I was thinking of giving us a gravel floor, but if slabs are that cheap, I mean, just cheating myself out of the nice floor. There's no shift clicking, so I have to just manually place items in a chest. I will say, if you ever go back and play older versions, not even like necessarily this old, but just like older versions of, in general, you'll start to very quickly realize how many things are in like modern day Minecraft that we all kind of take for granted. Like for instance, 
the fact that swimming is just like a nice thing you can do now. In this version, I gotta like wade through the water like a jackass. I can't even go faster with sprinting. Ah, the humanity. This one block is gonna annoy me forever. But, I think that's where I'm gonna call it. Safe in my shack for the night. And then we'll pick this up later.